Philippines researcher for the Asian Division of Human Rights Watch. Carlos, thanks so much for your time. Uh, you know this lady, Cristina Palabay. She's the uh, national leader for Karapatan. She is pretty convinced that the government is behind this. She says that there are coronavirus lockdowns everywhere. It's not possible for killers to be out in the streets to be able to carry out this kind of crime. What are the uh, feelings about possible government involvement now, a couple of days after the death? Well, there's certainly uh, a lot of basis for saying that. Um, although, to be fair, the, uh, the government says it's still investigating the killing of uh, Ms. Sara Alvarez. You have to keep in mind that the killings of activists, of human rights defenders in the Philippines has been going on for quite some time, even before Duterte. And uh, state security forces have always been uh, um, implicated in many of these killings. And which is uh, this type of killings, the targeting of activists, the targeting of dissenters, the targeting of critics, has been going on for some time, for decades, in fact. And no one, uh, no significant accountability has been taken. So you have to be. You, uh, you know, you have to understand uh, the feeling of Ms. Palabay and, uh, and her colleagues in Karapatan uh, as to why they think the government is behind this. Would the president even care if someone in his administration had organized this? And I ask it in that way, Carlos, because, of course, he's passed an anti-terror bill during the coronavirus lockdown. He shut down one of the major broadcasters in the Philippines and people outside observing the country say that he's taking advantage of the coronavirus pandemic. And now, under that anti-terror bill, Zara Alvarez was uh, prescribed as a terrorist. Well, I have to, I have to say, though, uh, that uh, Zara has not been officially prescribed as a terrorist or designated as a terrorist by the government. Uh, they, they, they put them in a terror list back uh, some time ago, but they uh, uh, remove her name afterwards, and they remove hundreds of other names from that list. So, um, while the anti-terror bill is uh, going is going to be misused uh, against dissenters, uh, this has not officially been um, uh, you know uh, da uh, designated on that one. But again, on your question, where will uh, President Duterte care about these things? I mean, he has demonstrated quite. Uh, a lot of times that um, he just doesn't care about human rights. I mean, in his speech uh, a week ago, in his public address a week ago, he pretty much uh, cursed the human rights movement and human rights defenders and all people who care about human rights. And of course, the fact that right now we have a human rights catastrophe in the Philippines in the, uh, you know, uh, in the form of the drug war and this targeting of dissidents and targeting of uh, human rights defenders, that points to you that this president just doesn't care. Carlos Conde, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it.